Hey, how's it going? This is You Can Build This. My name is Daniel Sloan. Wanted to give you a quick tour of our garden. This year we underwent quite a big project and we ended up doubling the size of our garden. It has been phenomenal. It's kind of been my dream to make it bigger. So I spent the last couple years just planning it, drawing it up on my computer, waiting for us to realistically just get the money to pay for it. But this year we were able to make it work. One of the things I love to do is I love to see it go from just a thought in my mind down to paper and like graphically design it and then to this. It's been so cool to see the transformation of this space from what it used to be. Without further ado, let's check it out. Back behind me, you'll see our arbor. On the arbor, we've got wisteria growing. This was actually a Father's Day present to me a few years ago. Interesting story, my dog, Annie, she chewed them down to little stumps. So I've got one wisteria there, my second wisteria right here, doing really well now. I was very surprised. I did not think it was gonna come back after my dog chewed it down to nubs. It's got these really, oof, I almost touched a wasp right there. But it's got these really pretty blooms. You can see more right here. This year, we also built our fence uh, to keep our dogs out. I've got a climbing rose right here. I've got a climbing rose down here. So the goal with those is to have them climb all over the fence. Uh, I'm gonna put some landscaping blocks right here. We, we will level this dirt out and we'll put some kind of tree in there. I do wanna build a trellis right here to put uh, this climbing rose on it. This is called Georgia Peach. It's got really awesome blooms. My wife is from the south and we kind of live in the desert. So we like to have some green things. Uh, so in a lot of the boxes that you see when I take you around, you'll see that they've got some vegetables and they've also got some flowers. Strawberries, and then we've got some other flowers. These are nasturtiums. They're really good at keeping bugs away. One of my boys wanted to have corn. Send me a piece of that corn! <laughs> We've never grown corn before. Send me a piece of that corn for later. So this is our first time doing that. My family loves bush beans. This whole box and half of that box are all bush beans. They grow really, really well. We usually get two harvests out of them per year. So bush beans, they're just string beans, but it's in a bush form. If you're doing the square foot gardening method, you can plant one bush bean per square foot and it utilizes the space really well. These are just more flowers. We love these flowers. For one, they just look gorgeous. Two, they attract hummingbirds. So kind of along the same lines as our hummingbird feeders right here both sides of the arbor. We get to see hummingbirds at the feeders and also at these flowers. We still need to stake this, so I'll do a video on that one, but it was a transplanted volunteer tomato. We also got some marigolds. My wife loves dahlias. More marigolds. To be honest, I don't know what kind of flowers these are. They're really pretty. Ah, freaking wasp again. <laughs> Sub dude. Lavender here. So we've got a lot of flowers in there that are small, kind of a jungle, but it's cool. You get to explore in them. Really cool sunflowers. These sunflowers kind of go well with these beauties. We did mess up a little bit. We put the 
pepper plants a little too close to the sunflowers, so they're kind of getting too much shade. This is our cucumber patch. We wanted to try quite a few different variety of cucumbers this year. Mostly that was my wife's idea. So we planted four different types of cucumbers to see which ones we liked the best. So you can see we've got a couple here growing. <clears throat> this works really well because cucumbers like to spread out a ton. You do have to be like consistent and come out here quite a bit to keep them trained and going up this little archway, but it does really well and it helps them grow straight. So this is like a pickling cucumber right here. We've got actually two of them. This is celery. This is basil. Now, my sister's gonna kill me for this, but this is what I think kale is good for. <laughs> I do not like to eat kale, but if you can see, this has a bunch of bugs on it, aphids. So we keep this here because it attracts the aphids and keeps them on this plant, on the kale, keeps them away from our other plants. So this is more of like a, I volunteer as tribute. I volunteer as tribute. To die and get eaten by bugs. This is the other side of our trellis. This is growing one of my son's watermelon plants. So it's doing really well. We're not super hopeful about this one this year because we planted it kind of late. And so most likely we're only gonna get the one watermelon out of it. We've got like a 16 inch long watermelon right here. So that's awesome. We've got a squash plant right here. Now big Bertha right here. We need to definitely prune this back. It has overgrown. Frequently this happens to us that we just forget about it for a week or two and then, oh shoot, it is a monster. And we got some marigolds. We really like the cherry tomatoes and the bell tomatoes. They taste super good. Very easy to pick and eat right away. We just haven't had a lot of success with the bigger tomatoes, so that's why we prefer to do the smaller tomatoes. Aside from the arbor, my pride and joy is the trellis for my roses. It is doing so good. It needs to be pruned and I need to tie up some canes, but it's doing really, really, really well. I've got some good Don Juan canes. Don Juan's my red one. I've got some really good canes now kind of intermixing with this one. It's got really pretty blooms. Pink and white. This is Don Juan. And then that's Eden. These are blueberry bushes. We've also got our little berry patch. We've got two blackberry canes. Obviously that one needs to be pruned a little bit, but this one has done so good this year. I got so many blackberries from it. Super big, super juicy. And then our raspberries are doing really well too. And then we've got strawberries in the front. Again, it needs to be weeded, but whatever. Got two blackberries, raspberry patch, two blackberries. If I were to do this again, I would suggest putting some kind of sheet metal along this border, probably even the border where the rocks are, because uh, the raspberries tend to grow outside of their boundaries. So this is a raspberry. This is a raspberry. So every spring we'll have 20 or so raspberries in this whole area. But yeah, that's the garden. Hope you enjoyed. Again, it's nothing fancy. It's nothing that we spend a ton of time on because we still have a family that we got to take care of. One thing's for sure, like our kids love coming out here. It is the best thing to see my kids come out here and pick the berries and eat them right off the vine. They're outside and they're enjoying nature. So that's basically why we do it. Catch you on the next video. Have a good one.